What's up everyone, I'm Blade Phoenix and this is my playlist on all the side glitches that's been discovered with the use of the infinite roll glitch. This video will explain what led me to discover it as well as some other key things for later videos so I don't have to repeat myself per video. And to start things off I want to talk about what led me to discover the infinite roll glitch. And so what led me to it is the first thing what gave me the idea of trying what I'm about to show is the Miss Master 1, one of the top speedrunners for this game, uh, was thinking of ways to try to make the game shorter and one thing he had in mind was to get across the gap so we don't have to do the puzzle after the Riku 1 fight and there is a way to get across the gap and to do that we would need Glide and Dumbo. So Dumbo, we go to this art spot over here and try to get as high as possible as we can. And the cool thing is, is if we dismiss Dumbo, it launches Sora high enough to where he can basically glide over here. And so I'm going to go around this spot real quick so I don't spawn the enemies that normally spawn. We have a dark ball following me, so I'll take that out. The problem with the theory was this crystal isn't active as you can see. Basically we think that by doing the puzzle and the puzzle being a complete and cutscene afterwards, those triggered this crystal. So it you basically it's a bust. So what I was trying to do and what led me to discover the next thing I'll show, which is the invisible floor glitch number one, is I was trying to see if I can glitch this crystal since it is active and get it to basically glitch this crystal to become active and as far as I know that's not possible but this is what led me to try to discover the infinite roll glitch and the invisible floor glitch so yeah um, key things I want to talk about is have guard off it does work with guard as I showed earlier however it's much more difficult to get it to work with guard on so I recommend turning it off. The second thing being there are some glitches you can only do at certain points in the game so I'll be specific on how that works. Uh, and how the infinite world glitch works is as you saw when enemies spawn it cancelled it. There are some things that cancel the infinite world glitch and whatnot and enemies is one of them. Another thing is a thing that is an animation that makes Sora do something. So opening the chest, the trinities, and certain cutscenes, since those have Sora doing something or have him move somewhere, it cancels his infinite roll glitch slash infinite guard glitch. So those are the, some things that don't work. Uh, and rolling off. The moment you roll off in infinite roll glitch, so for example, let's say I'm rolling and then I roll like that, it cancels the roll. So even on something small like that, Sora would just stand here. So rolling off and Trinity and Chess don't work. And there are very few reactions that Sora will only roll once. So an example would be uh, a safe spot. If you try to use the infinite roll glitch on a safe spot, it will pop up a safe menu when you cancel Sora only roll once. Another will be those brick walls or brick doors down below that you call Beast 2. If you use Sora to do it, you only roll once. The little switches that move the iron doors, Sora will roll once. So not all reaction commands will have Sora infinite roll glitch, so keep that in mind. But most things, it will keep Sora rolling. And of course, the obvious things that stops him is hitting the roll again, hitting swing, casting magic, using an item. Basically, an, it's another thing that makes Sora does an animation, so it cancels the infinite roll or infinite card glitch. So those are the things that cancels it that we know of so far. In most cutscenes, that moves Sora will cancel it, even if it doesn't have Sora do an animation. If it moves Sora, it will cancel it. There's only one case that we've discovered so far where it moves Sora and it doesn't cancel it, and I'll show that in a later video. So. I hope that explains everything, how I discovered it, and how the infinite glitch works. The next video will be in Visual 4, so I'll see you guys next time.